Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video we will be installing Redux graphic mod for GTA 5. But before we do get into this video I will be covering all the requirements and I would really appreciate if you could like and subscribe as it really does help me out guys. Anyway let's get right into the video. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is find our main game directory. If you do, don't know how to find it, I'll show you right now. What you want to do is go to Steam. Once you're in Steam, go to your library. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V. Click on this Manage tab. Hover over Manage. Go to Browse Local Files. And then it should come up here. Uh, by the way, this Redux version, guys, will be uh, version 1.18. So this is the newest version for Redux. I'll be showing you how to install. But anyway, once you... Uh, go here guys it would take you to your main game directory where you'll be installing all your mods to now before we do do anything if you go back into the common right as you can see i have a copy here i do recommend before um installing any mods that you do um back up your game files okay i do recommend that to do that guys what you want to do is click on your grand theft auto v right click show more options copy okay down here right click show more options and paste now that's going to paste you a backup version, which I really do recommend. You don't have to, but I recommend doing that. It might take a while, but once that's done, guys, go back into Steam Apps. Grab the common folder, drag it underneath, pin to quick access. So every time you close this down, common, grab the thought of the right back in here. Okay. I always uh, show you guys how to do that in every video, just to make sure. Now, once you've got your main game directory open up, what you want to go ahead and do is go to your browser and all the links will be in the description, guys. Uh, so the first link uh, will be script agree. This is a requirement. It'll take you here, guys. Go ahead and go down to the download button here. Make sure it's on the same version. Make sure you guys are on the most updated version of the game as well, guys. So click download here. Download the script V, okay? Then go ahead and open script v with um winrar or something else that you have like 7zip or put it somewhere on your desktop completely up to you just go ahead and open it up and then uh, go ahead and go into the bin folder then you'll see three files in here go ahead and select all of these files hold left control and then deselect the native trainer.asi then drag dimpot8.dll and script v.dll into v. just here okay then let go now that what's that, that is going to go ahead and install script up v for you and then once you've done that you can close that you can go back to um the description the next link will be script up v.net it'll take you to this page make sure um for you it's the latest here then scroll down go to the assets go to the latest three assets and then click on the one that says script up v.net okay. once you've downloaded that that'll download to script up v.net okay just go ahead and open that open that somewhere on your desktop or with WinRAR. Once you've opened that guys you'll see a few files in here. Go ahead and select everything except from the license text and the readme text because you don't need them. But once you've got all the scripts like v.net files selected, drag and drop them into your main game directory and let go and refresh. Okay. <coughs> okay. So once you've dragged all them in, uh, next will be OpenIV. Uh, it'll take you to this website click download now open iv latest version then uh, go ahead and open the oiv setup.exe now guys it'll show here so choose your language a window will pop up just go ahead and click your language once you've selected your language click continue now go ahead and read through this and click i accept the terms of disagreement and then click continue again now click run open iv after installation and then click continue again and then click yes okay once it's installed guys go ahead and click close refresh desktop now. now it should pop up with a window but if it doesn't pop up with a window go to your desktop and just go ahead and open open iv okay just go ahead and open it then it should pop up but once it pops up with this window click on go down to graph.v and click on windows now it's going to ask you where your main game directory is located so if you click on browse if you did follow my instructions and pin common you can click here and go right into your main game directory but if you didn't i'll show you where you locate it anyway so if you go to this pc your local disk program files x86 steam and go down to steam apps then common 
and then Grand Theft Auto V. Okay, then click Select Folder. Now it should pop up with a green text saying it can work with it. Okay. Once it says that, click Continue. Now it's going to say Do not forget to back up your original files for editing, which we've already done. So I'll click Continue. If you do follow all these steps, guys, um, I promise you Redux will work as shown. I'm going to do the steps that you guys are following and it'll work 100% fine, okay? But once uh, OpenIV is finished loading up, you can go ahead and put that in full screen, as you can see. Um, go ahead and go up to here. You can see in edit mode. Actually, we're not going to mess with that for now. But once you load up, guys, go ahead and click on the tools. And then go once you click on tools, go to ASI Manager, okay? That'll pop up with the ASI manager. Now, ASI loader usually is already installed, but if it isn't, install it. And then there'll be two more. Go ahead and install both of them. Once you've installed everything here, make sure they're all green. Click close. Then click on edit mode. And click yes. Okay. Now you can go ahead and minimize OpenIV for now. And go back into your main game directory. Now, as you can see, if you refresh, you'll have a mods folder. Um, once you have a mods folder, as you can see right now, it is empty. So what we want to do is we want to go back into our Grand Theft Auto main game directory. I want to hold left control and select update and time 64, okay? Once you've selected both of these, right click, show more options, click copy. Go into your mods folder, right click, show more options, paste, okay? Now um, that's going to load the update and time 64 into here. So it's going to copy them. And it's going to put them into your mods folder okay so this might take a while but i'll be done once it has finished okay guys so once it has finished go ahead and go out of your mods folder and now what we want to go ahead and do is we want to put it somewhere to the side and then go back into your browser guys and the next link in the description guys will be the reshade it'll take you here guys go ahead and click download and then click download reshade and whatever the latest version is for you guys right now it's six go ahead and download that guys once it's downloaded go ahead and open it okay now once you've opened it it will pop up with this window here okay once it pops up with this window click browse and then here go to your comment and then you run for v and then click on your gta v5 okay and then click open Again, guys, if you didn't pin common, I'll show you where to locate your main game directory, okay? Go to this PC, go to your lo local disk, then go to program files times 86, go to Steam, then go to Steam apps, then common, then run for dot v, and then click on your GTA 5, okay? Then click open, then click next. Now click on DirectX 10, 11, 12, and click next. Now go ahead here and click uncheck all and check all and then go down to the bottom and deselect um, the VR toolkit. Wherever the VR toolkit is. VR toolkit. Yeah, here we go. Deselect the VR toolkit. Okay, because you won't need that. Once you've deselected that, go ahead and click next. Now it's just gonna go ahead and download it all. Once it's finished guys, click finish. Uh, then you want to go ahead and go back to your browser in the description. Next will be ENB. It'll take you to this website here. Go to the the latest version for me is V0.492. So click on the latest version and then click this download button here. Once you've downloaded it, go ahead and open it with WinRAR or something else or extract it on your desktop somewhere. Okay. Once you have got that open, guys, in there you will see a wrapper version, EMB series underscore SDK dot zip, Patreon URL, and uh, www.enbdev.com.url. Go ahead and open the wrapper version. Then in here, go ahead and select everything, okay? And then deselect the readme underscore en text and the license underscore en dot text, okay? When holding left control. Once you've got all these selected, go ahead and drag them all into your main game directory and let go and refresh. And you can go ahead and close the NB series. Now the next thing will be uh, GTA 5 Redux v 1.18 released, okay? I, I, as the time I'm recording, guys, this is the latest version. I have made an older tutorial on how to install 1.15, but 
but I think it's time that I make an updated version because a lot of people lo love that video so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the latest version so link in the description guys it'll take you to here go ahead and go and click on the download button under uh, when it underneath where it says GTA 5 Redux v 1.18 release okay or whatever version it is for you make sure it's the latest go ahead and click download it'll take you here then go underneath the v1.18 and click download okay and it'll take you here and click download here and then click the the gta5 underscore redux underscore v1.18 dot zip not the torrent the zip okay click that. go ahead and save that now this will take a while because this is a very big graphics mod and game overall okay so for me this might take about five minutes for you guys it could take longer depending on your pc okay but i will be done once this has finished installing okay guys so once it has finished downloading go ahead and extract it somewhere on your desktop or just simply open it with winrar which i'm just gonna open it with winrar okay so once you've opened that file you'll see two things in three things sorry a readme text gta5 underscore uh, gta5 redux reshared and then GTA 5 Redux OIV for the V1.18, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we want to go ahead and go into OpenIV, okay? Which, if you if you already have it open, but if you did close it, I'll show you how to open it. Just go ahead and open it from your desktop. And then it'll pop up with a window, click go down to comfort.v and click Windows, okay? That's gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So we're gonna drag it here. Okay, so once you've got it open, guys, go ahead and go up to the edit mode. Click on that. Click yes, okay. Um, once you have OpenIV open with edit mode on, and you've um, gone to tools, so uh, you've gone to ASR manager, and you've installed all three of these are green. Okay, you've installed Redux. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to actually install it. So what we want to go ahead and do is you want to click on the the actual OIV file and just drag it into OpenIV, just like that. Now that's going to go ahead and drag it into OpenIV, that might take a bit of a while. Once you dragged it in, it should pop up with this window here. All the information will be in here, guys. Um, then click Install, then click Mods Folder, then click Confirm Installation. That's going to go ahead and install. It might take a bit of a while. That will take a bit of a while, but once it has finished, click close. Okay, now you can go ahead and minimize OpenIV, then go into your main game directory, refresh. Now, the second thing we're going to go ahead and do is go into the reshared folder inside of the Redux zip, and you'll see a bunch of files in here. Now, it's completely up to you what you want to drag and, drag and drop in here, but I'm just going to select every single one of them, but make sure you do deselect the readme text, okay? Um, when holding left control but once you've got all these others selected okay you want to go ahead and drag them all and drop them into your grandfather main game directory and then refresh okay once you've done that guys you can go ahead and close um close the redux now because we're done with that now you can also close the grandfather v main game directory you can also close winrar refresh and now you can go ahead and launch game so i'll see everyone inside of the game okay guys so once you are in the game as you can see this is what redux v1.18 does look like it is absolutely incredible this mod i've just got to say this it deserves like it deserves to be a patreon mod because this it just looks so amazing guys like for a free mod it's just amazing but yeah this is what it looks like inside of the game and i'll see everyone in the next video because this is the end i hope this did help you out if it did i would really appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe as it really does help me out and enjoy your time with redux and i'll see everyone later